I can I hit the button, but I'm yep now. Hey everyone, it's um Apple Watch is not properly synced. So it's 11, 10 p.m. Central Time. Family has left for the evening. We are ready to do this. And it's been a very long day. Um, after the investigation, we might do a quick live chat on the Bureau to go over the day, but um, we're gonna do the walkthrough and we have, this is virtual. Um, so we have Lisa, from Colorado, we have Dr. Darren, obviously, who you guys saw. And um, I don't know if we can say hi to Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And hi, everybody. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you doing this for us. I've never actually witnessed or participated in a virtual uh, walk, you know, reading from afar. I know that it's a thing, um, but this is my first time, so I'm really excited. Um, and I guess, I don't know what your process is or how we start or... Well, it would just be you guys or whoever's holding the phone, whoever wants to do that, taking me through the house, um, starting on the bottom floor and then moving up. Um, I know nothing about this situation. I don't know about any hot spots or anything, so it's really up to you guys where you end up taking me. Um, I may ask, hey, come over this way, come over that way, if I'm picking up on something as we're moving through the space. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to hold it? Or it's up to you. Right. What would you like to do? You want to hold it? I'll hold it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll let me get my energy drink. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I guess. Um, Okay, let's we'll start. Tell me where to go. Do we want to start in the front, I guess? Uh, uh, front of the house. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Okay. No lights. We don't have any lights, unfortunately. So. <laughs> I got darkness. Yeah, okay. We want to walk around the house or? Mm. Is there, um, if there, how about we just walk through the house? Okay, first? okay. All right. First, Sorry. <laughs> Start upstairs? Oh, she said downstairs. Oh, downstairs? Yeah. Yep. Why don't we start right. in Corbin's room? <clears throat> Uh-uh. Oh. Now I'm looking at the camera. So what is, is this a bedroom? I have, my screen is so small, so I don't have any peripheral vision with what I'm able to see. So this looks like a bedroom. Correct. Yeah, kid room, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's kind of like, um, what's the term the therapist use? Incongruent? Yeah, there's an incongruence. <laughs> Or, or like it was a dining room before, or maybe like a kitchen or something like it was changed into a bedroom when it should have been. Yeah, it wasn't like an established bedroom before. Okay. That Sorry. Sense.
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much you want to share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I ask those questions? Oh, it's I, I I'm mainly deferring to Dr. Darren since he's worked with you before. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's it's totally cool. Well, not like this. I haven't worked with her. Yeah. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. I don't do walkthroughs. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I do all my stuff in my office. Yeah. I talk to him. Okay. You ready to yep. move around? Yep. Okay. Did you have any other questions? Not yet. Okay. Just doesn't feel right in there. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, it's funny to see so this room, this kitchen space really feels um, to me like chaotic empty in here and it feels like things move around quite a bit. I know obviously the kitchens are busy with families, but I don't know if there's been Can I show her a spot or two? Yeah. Uh -huh. Particularly, like you're saying here? Yeah, like in that couch area, this whole wall, even that wall area, but this whole um, side is more, uh, there just feels negative and like anger directed over here. Okay. sense that this is original. got bulldozed it's underneath the trailer gotcha next door
Yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, the log cabin was bulldozed, right? Bulldozed yeah. and then it's covered with the house and the boat service. Right, like Correct. That. Door. So that's the living room. We just walked in. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of tension in this room and a lot of fear is in this room. A lot of intense emotions of being afraid in that space. Can you, is, if I'm allowed to ask, where? Is there something that you've seen that gives you that sensation more like a like a area like the bed, uh, a section of this room, or just overall in general? So, Jared, if you can go back to the doorway of that room and then just sort of scan it from side to side, that gives me a better view mm -hmm. of the room to answer the question, like where you guys entered. Stairs over there by that bathroom and that dresser. There's so much fear over there. Where? Yeah, yeah. Fear. Right here. Over right here. So, okay. So, this is, there's a very scared child that's there. That sleeps there. Yep, I, I don't know how much to say. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, just validating that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's where all this fear is, mm -hmm. and um, needing mom and dad for protection. Mm -hmm. uh, is this child about thirteen? Uh, yes. Okay. About. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, his side of the house, where his bedroom is, is not, that doesn't feel good at all. Like, as I'm making this connection here, like, he feels safer with, in this room, but there's still, like, he's not at ease. This child is just not at ease. Um, it's like he's in fight or flight all the time, mm -hmm. you know. His cortisol is, like, through the roof. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like this kid has been physically attacked. Is that a yes or a no? By just in general or by like a, the paranormal? Or in... Is there a, par a paranormal situation where he has been scratched or touched um, in a violent manner? In an aggressive manner, I should say. I think we'll find that out tomorrow. Okay. I'm sensing that. I'm okay. sensing that this child has um, experienced a sensation that has you know, physically hurt him. Um, it could be a scratch, it could be like a, a slap, but something that like has really startled him, that like hit him or um, physically, you know, it's not just in his mind, there's been a physical sensation attached to it. Um, I'm also picking up that there was a, I don't know, do you guys, just yes or no, do you guys know the history of the previous home on this property? Mm, I don't think so, Not not fully. Okay. And do you know, yes or no, does this family, are they the first family to live in this current structure, this house? No. Okay, so they're not the first to live there? No, no. Okay. And just yes or no, do you know anything about the previous owner of this structure of the house? Yes. Okay, so you do have some information about that person. Okay. So just so, uh, if you can get a little closer, just that way people can hear. Oh, okay. Um, just yes or no. Was there, I pick up on a man. I 
pick up on a, a male spirit who's older, would you guys be able to verify if that if you know that he lived there? Male, uh, older male. There was an older male. Yep. Okay. And do you know anything about this person? Because I'm picking up alcohol, alcoholic, substance abuse. Okay. We do know about him. Um, not everything, but a, a good amount. So, could you say more about the alcohol substance abuse? I'm picking up, so I'm wondering if this guy is this previous owner or if this was somebody from the other structure that was on this property. But I have a man who I'm aware of who um, is extremely angry all the time and very possessive of his home and who abused substances. I feel like it was some, um, alcohol. Uh, that was his main choice. And this is like domestic violence situation, very angry person, fighting about the property, very possessive of the space. Are you able to validate any of that? Um, I'm actually asking, so I can get back to you on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me to look sure. in here. Okay, okay to leave? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we don't have. Do you want to see any more of downstairs again before we go upstairs? Is that all? Is that the whole downstairs? Okay. Yeah. Now, or when you so what's up? when when you Am say when, or what is up here? I'm sorry. What's up? What's up here? Is this just like a loft area, or is there? So there's a couple rooms. So, but if you look, you can kind of see. It, it looks into the living room. Yeah. And then obviously yeah. these are the stairs, and then there's a room there. And if you guys want to go in there, I won't because there's cats. Um, are they in here? There's, yeah, yeah. there's a couple of men in. They stay down. They're not. They're not going to run out. Oh. Okay. Okay. Do you understand that? Well, as much as 
someone who doesn't know much about this room. <laughs> yes, that makes sense to me. with any of this over here? This is going to sound kind of strange, but what I pick up is like, this is a place where someone would go by themselves and this person would be depressed, sad, feeling of isolation, and it just sort of fills up this room, this whole space here. Mm -hmm. That's what I Mm -hmm. Depression, isolation, feeling of being, um, man, my throat just feels weird too, tight. I can't talk about my feelings or I'm not able to express myself. I'm just, I, I'm just kind of pissed off and bitter and, and sad. That's what this room feels like to me. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay. We don't put any pets in here, they pay. There's no pets in there. If the door gets stuck a little bit, she said you just have to push it. It's not locked. Yeah. It's like a loft. Yeah. Anything? It feels kind of neutral to me. Kind of neutral. Okay, yeah. neutral. Okay. It does not feel so tight. Is this where Corbin is? Or, uh, sorry, where? No. No. There's, there's, there's a man who comes here, right? There's a male masculine energy that hangs out here. I'll put it that way. If it is the biological female, it tends to be more masculine vibe. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So just to keep talking energy, it feels like there's more of a masculine vibe here, but it's safe. I feel safe. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Then if if you're good with this room, we could show you this room. Different. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like a vacant feeling when I 
I walk in. I, that sounds strange because I'm sure they use the bathroom, but um, there's like an emptiness over here in this space too is how it feels to me. Mm -hmm. um, is the female in this house, <clears throat> Darren, you, both you and Ryan will probably get this, like, is the female in this house not able to let her guard down and she's she has to be stepping into her masculine energy? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Um, well, I mean, we could just tell her. Mm -hmm. So there's, it's um, a same-sex couple, two okay. females and a child. Um, okay. I guess you could say one presents more masculine energy. Yeah. So everything is just energy for me, you know? Um, so you would understand that the more masculine of the two would hang out in this part of the house, this room back here, this blue room. I, I don't know. I know that technically this is the wife's. All right. I guess they're both wives, but, um, the one that presents not as masculine. I, I feel weird saying that, but... Um, I know what you mean. Okay, yeah. It's just for energy. So what I'm picking up is that if if this is more the feminine um, female, she must be always to have feeling like she needs to be in, in her masculine energy, right? Like we all have masculine and feminine energy, like hard, tougher, softer. Sure. I feel like she's always on, like she's always on high alert. Would you understand that? Okay. Does that make sense to you? It does. L let me make sure I understand. Or, you're saying the more feminine has to be on all the time? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like always has to be on guard or feeling like you have to be strong. You can never really relax and, and just sort of um, take a deep breath. It's like I feel like she has to be in her masculine energy all the time does that make sense let's fight or flight or fight mode just like mm -hmm. uh, i just feel like that's energy and it feels masculine that type of tough guarded energy feels masculine to me okay. am i explaining that well mm -hmm. okay. and if what we're doing is so we haven't had much interaction to gauge that yet with with her um okay. so i guess the answer is we don't know um okay. But, so that's kind of like information we're kind of tucking or storing to maybe look into yeah, tomorrow. That's just what I'm picking up. Okay. Um, yeah. She has more of an artistic side to her. You understand that? Yes. Well, you guys would know, but okay, yeah, more of an artistic side, but I just feel like she can never really relax and that she has to step into that masculine energy and present kind of guarded and protective. That's how it is. There's like I feel like a lot of energy going into protecting the sun to protecting the boy. Do you understand this? Yes. Okay. That's how it feels. Like just this, oh, I just need a safe place, but I, I can't I can't let my guard down. I can't let my guard down. You feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, it keeps flip it flipped to the weak picture and I was like Oh, that's weird. I I got it. No, you I just said yeah. I figured out how okay. to do it. Like it keeps came on with you guys, I always do meditation and kind of get myself ready. Mm -hmm. And I was about a guy, alcoholic, domestic violence, hates women, hates women. Um, and he's a bully. He's just a bully. And that's what I'm picking up on. And I don't know if he was the previous resident who lived in this structure or if this man lived on the property. But okay. I think that a fight in the history, and you guys can maybe look this up tomorrow when you do more research on the house or when you interview the family, um, there has, there's a possessiveness about either this house or the house that was here beforehand. Like, I had to fight for this house. This is my space. I'm not leaving. And he's just, like, he's not a good guy. He's just mean and, like, domestic violence and alcohol and just, he's a tough, tough guy. Tough. Is there a reason you're picking up as to why he may be focusing on this family? 
is there a connection somehow? Something that like, you know, like the law of attraction, how like, like energy attracting energy or some way, if that makes any sense. It feels to me, and now this came through in my, when I was meditating before I even connected in with you guys, it feels to me that he is more possessive of the space and this man hates women. And so when you tell me that this is a same sex couple, now we've got two women in the house. That could be flaring some things up for him too. Um, but he's just, he's an alcoholic. Um, I feel like he passed from a heart attack, but alcoholism definitely shortened his life a bit. Uh, and this guy just, he's just got a bad history. He's just a miserable, miserable person. He does not want to leave this space. That's what I pick up. Mm -hmm. He does not want to leave this space. Okay. Uh, what's his... um? What's his views on the sun? So what I pick up, because he's not the easiest person to talk to, is this sun is not tough enough in his mind. I have no idea. I've never laid eyes on this child. But in his mind, this child, this boy is not tough enough, and he's just a bully. He picks on, he picks on people smaller than him, younger than him, whatever. He, he's just, he's a bully. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. And this, family, this, has this family lived in another this house before this one, or is this his only home that he's uh, ever resided in? He's lived in a different home before. And there was no activity in the previous home, correct? No. no and if there okay, was, it was I, nothing significant. That's that, what I thought. Yeah. So it's just been here. And they kind of moved into uh, an existing issue that was already here. Already here. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys can ever, like, un um, uncover any images of this man who lives here. But I know he's got, like, the teeth. There's, like, a space in between the teeth. And, like, the, there's the shape of the teeth. Like, he doesn't have... These teeth are uh, very nice, cooked up, and there's spaces in between them. Something. Oh, okay. Perhaps something. I don't. I don't know what this is, but this is what it. Okay. Here, hold, hold on. Okay. Oh, that that picture. Gotcha. So we we don't know if this has. Oh, we don't know if this has any connection to the property whatsoever. It's just, but just thought I'd show it to you and see if that, if you feel any attachment or connection to that or no. I don't think we can see from oh. that. Is it too? I, yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, it's like. Okay. We'll change facial hair. That's easy. So. Yeah, we, we generally don't know if that ha even has any attachment to the property. So, um, you know, it's just something that they... Did, the, uh, I'm sorry? Did they find it in the house? Uh, well, like, it, through stuff, I guess, if I'm understanding correctly. So... Like, it, it could have come from outside of the house, and then it was just here. Um, so they don't know anything about it. So Yeah. So the person that I see is not from that old, like, top hat. Okay. Uh, time break. I, the man that I'm picking up on looks to me like he's more in the maybe 1940s, 50s era. Okay. What? Maybe the 30s, but he's more recent. He's not that far back where he would be in a top hat. Okay. And, and, and that's the gentleman I'm picking up on is the alcohol. When, he, when this person manifests, 
is he wearing any type of clothing? Is he wearing a hat? Is he wearing anything at all like uh, that you see in your mind? So he has really short hair. Real, like kind of how yours is Ryan on the side, like that short, okay. like that crew cut. Um, I do see a hat with him, um, so I can't tell, but it looks like he might have some hair loss, but I can't tell because the the hat. He looks to me like he's wearing work boots and kind of long, you know, he's got pants that are like kind of frayed at the bottom, so they're loose. So it looks like sort of in the era of the 1940s, 1950s. I know this gentleman, if you want to call him it, would have worked with his hands because his hands are dirty and calloused. So I know, and I feel like there would have been in that area or a connection with horses, with with pigs, and so like farm, some farm animals as well. I don't know if that's, um, if you guys know that history, but I feel like that's, been in that area as well and that he has a connection to that okay and then how so, would he man like how would he look to the clients with like um i don't know if you're picking up on anything but like when he when it manifests to the the human eye um do you get an image in your head or no yeah so that's called um subjective where I see him in my mind's eye. Okay. So how, even how I describe him, if he presents himself of himself objectively, like if they actually saw a manifestation of him, that would be objective, like how I'm looking at you right now. Like there he is, right? Um, I don't know how he's presenting himself or if it's the same individual, but this is the strong uh, impression that I'm getting. Is this this guy drinker? Worked with his hands, worked outside, pissed off, history of domestic violence. Um, there was an argument or a possessiveness about the property and a fight about it's my house. He's fighting with somebody about it being his, his home. Um, and he doesn't want to leave. Okay. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate it. I, I Great stuff and stuff for us to look into. Um, I think that's pretty much the house. So. And I also too. I was picking up on the, the letters and the, the initial um, T, the letter T, and the letter H. T and not, H. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that fits if that's with this this guy um, that I'm picking up on or if that's with the current family, but a T and an H is what I was picking up on. So I just wanted, before we end it, I wanted to say that. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I, I know that you, right. you said something about maybe talking to the family tomorrow, so we can kind of, me and Dr. Darren, we can definitely work with your schedule to, when you're free to, to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll have to be sometime in the morning, like before um, 1 p.m. my time. Okay. So, so it'll be one of the first things we do. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Just, uh, give, me a, give me a text, Darren. We'll be in touch. I'll let you sleep in tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All thank right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lisa. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Darren. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Oops. everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Oh. Sorry, sorry. No, that's okay. I need to find the paperwork before. You forget? Before that goes on my head, what she was saying. Oh. Oh. Oh, the T and H? No. Oh. Mm. Sounds like someone's got a... Right, somebody's got a hunch. It's a hunch. A hunch. There's a hunch happening. That was really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I don't... We don't know much about former property here or anything, so we'd have to look into that, but... It kind of fits with the way it's interacting with the family. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. But... You I, well, I... Yeah, this is congruent with Shan, my Shannon's, uh, yeah. what she's talking about. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I did... Uh, I think I sent it to you. I sent a... I did a... a I wrote up a brief description of... That was... What yeah, Shannon, I printed that up. Yeah, I okay. it. Yeah. <clears throat> What are you thinking? 
Or do you want to wait till tomorrow to share what you're thinking in that sense? Because well, I don't know. I, I don't know how much to share without. I don't want to bias, like the yeah. investigation, right? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Well then, we'll we'll investigate a little bit. I know you're probably tired and get yeah. some rest and. I'm gonna go sleep. I'm, I'm tired too. <laughs> like I said, I, my 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 dead time might be. I'm gonna go sit over there, put a pod in my hand. Uh, uh, I came K two, um, <laughs> and I'll just wear sunglasses and I'll be out. <laughs> I'm resting my eyes. Uh -huh. So, um, so yeah, we'll 